Here's a little secret. I kind of suck at product photography. I mean, my photos look nice after hours of editing them, but editing takes way too much time. For example, if I wanted to release 10 items on Etsy and it takes me five minutes to edit a photo, at 10 photos per listing, that's 100 photos total, equaling over eight hours of editing. Then I met an actual product photography coach who taught me that photos don't need to be edited when you have a good technique. So today I'm bringing her on to my channel to share her secrets for increasing Etsy conversion rates by putting simple photo techniques into practice. You wanna go away? You wanna go away? Okay, goodbye. Okay, Christina, here's the big question. I've got my big clunky DSLR and I'll admit, I barely know how to use it. Is this thing necessary for product photography? No, the smartphone camera you already have is perfect for taking product photos for your online shop. DSLR cameras are overkill for the types of photos you will be taking as a maker. Plus they come with a high price point and a steep learning curve. My recommendation is to learn how to get the most from the smartphone camera you already have before you ever think about upgrading. Okay, so assuming that we don't need to blow our life savings on a fancy pants camera, are there any cheap tools that we should be buying like light boxes or studio lights? Honestly, you don't need to invest in much to see quality results. Light will be the most important tool in your photography toolbox. Lucky for you, Maker, natural light is free. I do recommend investing in light modifiers like a diffuser and a reflector, but inexpensive items like parchment paper and white foam board will do the trick. This one isn't strategy related, but I hear it at least 10 times a week. So I gotta ask, what the heck is the deal with Etsy listing photo sizes and aspect ratios? We went from rectangles to squares, back to rectangles, and now it seems like we're officially back to squares. What is the official consensus on photo sizes? So there isn't any official news from Etsy. Their recommendation of a 4-3 aspect ratio has not changed in the seller handbook. In August of 2023, they did report that buyers are more likely to make a purchase when a shop displays square photos. But as a best practice, they recommend uploading photos that work for multiple crops and ratios like square and rectangle. That's because Etsy is still displaying your images as a 4.3 in search on Android devices and a 5.4 in search on Apple devices. It doesn't matter if you use a square or a 4.3 aspect ratio. What matters is that you understand how Etsy will crop your photos for search. If you use a square, they'll crop out the top and bottom of your photos. And if you use a 4.3 aspect ratio, they'll crop out part of the left and right of your photo. So just make sure you're keeping your product and the most important information right in the center of the photo with space around the edges to account for those crops. Now, you know I'm a big fan of adaptation and working with what you have. If the Twilight series taught us anything at all, it's that Forks Washington is always rainy. What about the sellers who aren't graced with the glory of sunshine and who are stuck working in minimal lighting environments? Okay, first, I wanna challenge that mindset of I don't have enough light. This might be something you believe because you don't know how to get the most from the smartphone camera you already have or because you don't understand how to modify light to get the results you want. If I can get great product photos with my smartphone camera on a gloomy, rainy day with the right information, so can you. However, if you truly don't have enough light, I have two solutions. First, the cheapest solution is to invest in artificial lights. I recommend 24 inch soft boxes for most products. Second, this is where a DSLR upgrade does have benefits. DSLR cameras do take better product photos under low lighting conditions. I will turn to my DSLR camera if it's storming out and I have to shoot that day. 
I seriously feel like we could go on and on forever, but I don't want to make this video too long. Christina, would you be willing to join us for a live stream this Friday where everyone could ask you questions in the chat? Yes, I would love to hang out with the alphas on Friday and answer any product photography questions they have. Perfect, then I'll have a link for that event up here and down below for everyone. In the meantime, I do have one last question and feel free to let me know if it's too general, but if you were to share the number one problem that you see Etsy sellers making, what would that problem be? And like, is there a fix for it? Sunny, you should ask that question because I have a challenge coming up that tackles the very real problem that most makers face fighting with natural light. Natural light is constantly changing and weather can be unpredictable. Every time you take product photos, you face new challenges you don't know how to solve. So I created the Maker's Method signature framework, Light. Light is a live five-day challenge that will teach you how to evaluate, diagnose, and cure your crummy light symptoms so that you can finally make natural light work for you. Okay, I may have set you up for that one, but seriously guys, the light challenge is absolutely amazing and Christina is currently the only other coach or program that I recommend to my audience because we share the same moral code, I guess you could say. I ended up taking the light challenge last year thinking that I already had a good strategy for my photos, but there was so much that I didn't know. And for the quality of my Etsy photos now, honestly, I would have paid triple the price for this program. I hate sales pitches, so we'll go ahead and end it there. But if you're interested in checking out the light challenge, registration will be open until Sunday. And I'll have Christina's link down below for those who want to check it out. Christina, should we like cue the funky lo-fi beat? Cue the lo-fi funky beat.